we've developed a game where we turn random real life objects into a first person shooter. This idea was inspired from a creator called Commander Carl who made a couple of videos about recreating reloading animations in video games using random real life objects and it's really cool to watch. And then I thought, what if we also try and make random objects into a first person shooter animation like this but actually turn it into a video game. And so, let the development begin. With the help of our programmer, Jellord, let's create a basic first person character. First, all you need is a beam. This will serve as the physical body of our character, so we're able to actually interact with the game objects and the environment. To turn this into a first person perspective, we'll need to add a camera to our beam. Previewing the camera should look like this within the game. Then we can add a crosshair in the middle of the screen. And with the use of this code, we should be able to move the camera with our mouse movement. Now let's make our character to actually move. To do this, we'll just need to give our beam some legs. And then write some code for it to be able to move. And now, we should be able to move in first person. And we do so by using the WASD keys on the keyboard. The movement of our character should also dynamically adjust based on where we look with our mouse. And now, we get to the good stuff. Let's make the actual weapons of the game. Here, I'm just setting up the green screen so we can film the quote-unquote weapons of the game so we can later on cut out the background after post-processing. And I'm also setting up the lighting so we can have, well, lights. Anyways, I've got this tripod where I can use my phone and use it as a camera. Then I've filmed some random items here at the office. Basically, we've split the weapons into two categories, the range and the melee weapons. For the range weapons, the ones that go are the umbrella, protein shake, vacuum, my hand is a finger gun, a toy gun, bread, and the ultimate weapon of mass destruction, the destroyer of all items at the office, the one who pees. Kibi. Then we also got the melee weapons, which are the ones that go We've got a broom, a green fan, my hands again but this time as a fist, a shoe, and a cute little spoon. After filming, we put each of them into a video editing software and edited everything to make the flow of the weapons to look like a video game animation. Then we've extracted each frame by frame of the videos so we can put it onto an image editing software and delete the green screen and export it as multiple PNG images so we're able to have transparent backgrounds. Now we can put the export images into the game engine and make it in a way so that it shows the images one by one so it looks like a moving picture. We can then program the states of the weapons. Starting the game, place the equip animation. Then if you change a weapon, it unequips the current weapon to change to the next one. If you left click on the mouse, the ranged weapon will be able to shoot. How this works is we added a ray cast and it's basically a laser that points forward and if we shoot and it hits something, it'll spawn a particle effect as well as a bullet decal on the location of the surface that we hit. For the range weapons, we made the rake as really long so it shoots in a long range. But for the melee weapons, we just made it shorter so it has a shorter range of attack. And lastly, if you press R, your range weapon will be able to reload. After all of that, we screen recorded the game and put the video into an editing software so we can add some sound effects to the weapons. And here's how they sound. What's the use of a weapon if we don't have anyone to abuse? Let's create some enemies we can demolish. We took a picture of another set of random items here at the office to be used as the enemies. We've got a toothpaste, a chair, a frying pan, half a mannequin with six pack abs, damn. And lastly, the food thief, the nonchalant bad boy, the parkour master.
Ozzy. And now, let's make a map for these syndicates to have a place to roam around. Here in Blender, we can make a map for the game. I just quickly blocked out the platforms and level designs, then we added a basic grid pattern texture on the 3D models. I also changed some of the colors of the platform, so there's a bit of visual variety. I'm keeping everything here to be a bit simple since I'm not really an expert in 3D modeling. Now that we have a map, we can program the enemies to have some pathfinding. This is to make the enemies to be able to help themselves traverse the obstacles to go towards the player. If the enemies come into contact with a player, the enemy will attack and damage the player's health. If we shoot the enemies, it'll of course make them twerk, I mean die. Next, let's make an enemy spawn. We created some kind of a portal and what it does is basically, it randomly appears into set locations put onto the map, then it spawns the enemies in a random chance where the weakest is the most frequent and the strongest appears a bit less. Then we added a basic scoring system to have a basic game loop. What the hell? And lastly, we created a menu screen where you can choose one range weapon and one melee weapon and then a play button to of course play the game we made for over a month to just create a 5 minute YouTube video. Anyways, here's some clips of the gameplay. Thank <laughs> you. 